Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I'm going to be planning in the Happy Planner dashboard layout using colorful boxes, flowers, and one of these two memory keeping sticker books. For Valentine's Day week, I thought that I would use these beautiful flowers. I think they're so pretty. But the first thing that I did want to do is cover up this errands box. So I did just grab my shipping label that I've cut down to size. And all I'm going to do is place it over that shaded area. And then I'm still not sure exactly what I wanted to do on this side. I think I'm just going to go ahead and start on the right hand page because I already know I'm going to be using these two colors. So what I did is that I kind of matched the colors that match really well with those flowers. And I wanted to use these boxes, which are meant for your monthly view. That's why it has this cutout for the date. Um, but since I don't use a classic, there's no way I could use these. Um, if I don't use them this way. So I did have to trim off just a little bit off from the bottom or else it was going to cover up the D. So I did just trim that off and I wanted to place this one right up here on Monday. So just like that. And then we are using that peach color. So I did grab some of those as well. And these ones are going to go on Tuesday and Friday. So I'm just trying to put them right in the middle of the day. So maybe like that. And it's actually still covering up some of the um, days. So I am going to need to move these down just a little bit all the way down to the bottom of the day and there we go much better and um i did want to add this on friday as well so right there and then the green one is going to go on saturday so let's grab that one and yeah we'll place it down right down here all right perfect so these match really well with the colors i didn't want to use black this time so i just found the colors that matched better with this so there's that and i did want to add some of these hexagons right over here but i'm still not sure if i want to match um this box with this hexagon or if I want to do the green one with this one this color over here I am not sure because what I was thinking over here is adding this flower well one of these and then adding a quote and the quote that I found only has black so I'm not sure if I wanted to to incorporate black anywhere else in the spread and maybe add black hexagons here so we can tie everything in or how exactly I want to do this. This spread, I don't know why I can't figure it out, but I'm just not sure what I want to do. So let's go ahead and grab this one. Maybe this flower will work better. Maybe like this. Okay, so we're only going to need to trim off just a little bit. It's not too bad. So let's just see how this is going to look. Okay. Okay, so that doesn't look bad. I actually do like that. And then maybe we could add this little bit. Um, Maybe down here at the bottom. That way we don't waste it. So, maybe something like that. Okay. And then I was thinking of using this one right along the edge over here. Just trying to figure out how exactly 
I wanted to do that. So maybe like that. I think that looks really cute. So again, let's trim this part off and then we are going to need to punch out the holes as well. So let's throw that away. And now let's see what we could do about the quilt. And I had mentioned one of these two sticker books because these are the ones that have the quilt that I wanted to use. This one is really long and it does kind of have that color that we were going for. So that's why I liked this one. And then this one is not as big. And it's just kind of simple, kind of cute. But I didn't know how it was going to look unless I placed it over. So I was thinking about using this one. And this one just says one love. As opposed to this one that has four. And it is kind of longer. And if it's too long, maybe I could cut it. Or this cute little delicate one. I just loved how simple this looked. Ooh, I think I really like this one. It's cute, it's simple, it's in cursive. So I do like this one. But let's see how this one would look. It is just really big. Yeah, even the font is big and um, just not as cute as how this one looks. So, yep, that made me make up my mind i just really needed to see it up against the flower so that was easy and then this one um maybe even in the flower like this i think um just like that okay so i really like that i like all the colors matching and it is not a lot of black like the other one was where it had a ton of black going on. So now I have to figure out what I want to do over in this slanted area. I'm not going to use the black one because my pen is black. So that's going to tie this with the rest. So now what I want to figure out is if I'm going to place this with the same color or add it over here but I think now I like it better like this so I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing okay yeah that looks really good and then this one right here we'll go back to the green ones and we'll add them on that one um right here here and is there another one because that one does not have two of the same one. Oh no um what okay so now I don't know what to do because these none of them match um what could I do? Where did the black ones go? Right here. So let's just try it out. How would this look? Okay, I think that... Okay, let me just check in the original colorful boxes and see if I could find maybe one in here. Hopefully there is. Um, again, why do these not match? We had two of the same one for that color. That's so weird. So let's see if any one of these match. Um, so they don't really have the same um, shade. I think this to-do is way darker than this one. 
singles for the lazy day they're off by just a little bit so they don't even exactly match so let me get my other colorful boxes and that way we can make the pair hmm. and i think the one that best matches this one is probably going to do um, to be the busy day. Um, yeah, I think so. Because I think this one is way too bright. Um, so I don't want that one. So we'll do that one. And this one. That is so weird though. It didn't have a match. But this color did. Okay, so there we go i think that really helped okay that's just way too weird but now i want to see what i can do with my bills to pay and because this one is green i'm going to do that pink color and i'm just gonna need two of these so maybe one right here and then the other one could go a little bit in. Um, okay. All right, so something like that. Okay, this is really looking cute. Now, I do want to go back in here and see if there's anything else that we could add. Maybe just a little bit of decoration. Um, on the right hand side so let's just look really quick I do like these little ones where could we put these maybe in here mm. where could we put these if I lay it down there, I think it's going to look too crowded, maybe in here, because I also wanted to bring in some of these leaves, and these ones could maybe go something like this. I just think it takes up a lot of space. How about going maybe up like this, maybe? I think that looks better. Let's see if we have one facing that way. Okay, there's not going to be one. I also did see these other leaves. Um, these ones right here. So I think I like this better than that big one. And I'm going to end up getting rid of this one. And just adding a smaller one. So this one could go back. And this one. Let's add it right over here in this corner right there what about this one I'm still holding it where could I place it but might as well add this very last one so right there so because we have leaves now I definitely want to add these flowers and I think I'm just going to end up adding it right in here so right there then let's grab another one all right so this one could go maybe in here and i know i have said that i was taking a break from florals but yeah that only lasted about one spread um, and it doesn't help that I did end up ordering the bloom box on Tuesday. And it says that it has been shipped already. So now I'm just waiting on that. 
but as we know the bloom box is all about florals so that idea of kind of taking a break from flowers didn't end up too well because I did end up ordering that one. So I'm excited and I can't wait for that one to come in. Um, but I think just adding them in those two boxes really, really helped. I don't think we have anything else that's smaller that we could add on the green boxes. Um, but for fun, let me just grab this one. And maybe placing it. What if we cut it straight? And just added it maybe down there at the bottom. Let's experiment and see how that would look. So maybe something right down here. I think it looks cute. So... Why not do the same thing on money as well? I don't usually add all of this decoration, but I think it's okay once in a while. So this one could go... Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and put this back so I can cut through these holes. So, of course, I did end up taking off this black backing so I could see and line up the punches better. There we go. Perfect. So, let's go ahead and put this back onto the desk. I am really surprised that I actually like this just because I'm not used to adding a ton of decoration on the right-hand side. I like to keep it very functional, but these flowers were just so, so cute, and I thought I would add just a little bit more right over here, but I think it's gonna look and work really, really well, and I just love this love word. I think it's so cute, so delicate, so simple, and it looks great, and I just love the way that this looks. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing, and don't forget to check me over on Instagram at Stephanie Happily Plants. And I'll see you next time.